Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf here in the Tour Van at Second Swing Minnetonka, joined by Mr. Kevin Kraft, a master fitter at our Columbia store. Uh, today is all about distance. So uh, distance is the name of the, the game now in golf, it seems like. you know, oh, yeah. It's all about swing speed. It's all about getting as uh, far tee shots as you can, uh, or at least that seems to be the mantra now for up and coming players. And so yep. um, today we want to do something a little different. This is not necessarily how we would fit most players in the tour van unless this is what they wanted. It was just pure distance. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's maybe there are a lot and you know, enough players out there, but today Kevin is going to fit himself for pure driving distance. So, I mean, among all of the club head and shaft combinations that we have at our disposal here at second swing, um, Kevin's going to try to utilize those plus adjustable hosel um, changes, any other weight adjustments possible uh, to get himself hit the ball as far as he possibly can here. So um, first of all, Kevin, let's talk about the setup that you've got to start with. Okay. And then we'll go over a yardy hit five swings to get us going yep. here in this sort of fitting. So uh, what do we have? So I tried to build something somewhat close to what I currently play. So I do have a Cobra Aerojet, uh, the standard head, not the okay. LS, okay? Um, one of the great things about some of the newer heads, the more forgiving heads, the higher MOI heads are still low spinning heads. So. Mm -hmm. Um, some of it also depends on impact location. Um, I tend to be centered to slightly high toe, which tends to push spin down, which when I paired it with a, a helium five F four shaft, you know, the idea was to try to kind of remake the weight that I typically play, even mm -hmm. though it's a little bit softer shaft. Yeah. So, okay. So trying to match it up with your gamer essentially, which is, of, which is yeah. sort of the, the right, the right, um, I guess, way to go about this. Yeah. I think, um, at least for a starting point, I know in, in every fitting is the fitters here will analyze your current driver. So that's probably the best way to, yep. to go about this here. So um, let's look at kind of what we have for the numbers on the first five swings here mm -hmm. that you kind of you, you put together already with that driver. Um, I'll start by expanding the table here. And uh, we're at 106 club speed, 156 ball speed. That's a smash factor of 1.48. The spin rate at just over 2,000, carrying at 262 to 292, which, I mean, that, that's not shabby at all. That's it's not know. bad, especially right after lunch. I mean. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, we got all that, uh, we got the firehouse subs in the belly. Yes. Um, okay, so you look at this, and then we can also bring up a couple more items here. This is your dispersion chart. Mm -hmm. That's the total, and then the carry one here. And then one thing you pointed out to me before we hit the record button, um, was actually the impact location. And so the heat map there of all five swings, the average hit location looks like it's a little bit above the equator, yep. but relatively in the center of the face. So yeah. with that information, what kind of are you thinking is the next step here? <laughs> um, all right, so what I can say for sure is that while this shaft uh, served its purpose, it definitely didn't feel quite as stable for me as I would want. So okay. I'm going to go into something that's, I'm going to try and keep the shaft light so that I can, I can get as much speed as possible. Okay. Um, but I'm going to try and find something that's going to be a little bit, a little heftier than this, a little stiffer than this, uh, just so that I can kind of feel, feel where the head is just all a right. little bit better. Um, in terms of all these numbers, these are good fitting numbers, yeah. right? There's, I've made this fairly challenging, but since we're, <laughs> Since we're going to be going purely for distance, I'm going to try and find as fast a face as I can find. This one's pretty fast. Yeah. And I'm going to try to find something that will spin a bit less. Okay. Which we're talking about serious red red zone here. Cause yeah, I mean, I wouldn't fit anybody trying to achieve 1700 unless that was unless, specifically what they were going for. Unless it's so. pure distance is the goal, right. um, which in this specific right. case yeah. it is. Um, also, just to give the viewers some more context, the loft on that driver right now, what's the state of the loft? On? Nine degrees. Nine degrees, okay. Yep. So there's that information unless, you know, if I'm sure there's a lot of viewers clamoring, hey, loft down or loft up, you know. Well, um, it's, and that's possible. We, that might we, be, that might be might, a direction. We might right. loft down. Yeah, uh, but the height was 90. The landing angle was actually really good. It was at 34.4. Yeah, that's in what I consider the kind of the perfect zone. Okay. So uh, honestly, uh, it, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, well, be interesting. all right. So we'll take, a, I guess, step one or adjustment one. You can yeah. do what you need to do and we'll come back and assess once you've got that change made. Okay. 
All right. Mr. Kraft, we have adjustment number one. Adjustment what do we number got? one. I went to the LS head. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I've got a little history with the LS head. It's a little harder to hit. I've had a hard time in the past with the LSs getting them to square up. So I've got the heavier weight down in the heel. I okay. have it on the draw setting, still at nine degrees. With a shaft swap, I went from <laughs> what is actually a fairly mid high launch shaft with you know mid spin in that uh, uh, whatever the shaft that was, the, the helium, sorry. Yeah. Uh, to low launch, low spin with the Kylie weight. Okay, so we're kind of really chasing that low spin here, trying to. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get after it and see yep. what happens. Maybe. Uh, I really like this shaft. It's good. I've had it, I've messed with it a lot this year. Okay. I have it in my I have it in my burner mini driver. It's, oh, it's a okay. great feeling shaft. So, okay. Yeah. So, new shaft, a uh, new club head too. So basically, a whole new club for adjustment yeah, number if, two here. If we're just just chasing distance, this is this is where we're gonna okay. go. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Okay. And so keep in mind, I mean, we are going after the total distance here. Yes. I know carry is primarily where maybe a lot of golfers try to get dialed in, but we'll go for that total. If we're if we're legitimately dialing somebody, and we're absolutely going after both carry and total. Yeah. So. Ooh, that one might get some distance on it. All right. I thought oh. that one launched a lot higher than the previous one, so I figured it might. Yeah, that has, there a little had bit. a little better carry to it. We're seeing that spin rate stay down. Yep. Turn it over a touch. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm telling you that meatball subs got me slowed down here. <laughs> Should be up at 108, 109. There we go. Let's That's do, out there. Let's do one more. Okay. There's some extra speed. Oh yeah. Not really. All right. So, new club head. <laughs> new. Same results. Same results. I lost 1.2 miles an hour of club head speed, but I was more efficient. Yep. So if I can get that speed back, these numbers will change a little bit. We only lost. 150 RPM yeah. of spin. So launched a little lower, didn't carry quite as far. Yeah. So we got basically the same thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I think we're going to try a different head. Try a different club head. Go back to the Aerojet or even something completely different than that? Something completely different. Ooh. All right. So I see a completely new club head and a completely new shaft. So what we got here? All right, so Callaway Paradigm, triple diamond. Okay. Uh, graphite design, CQ6S. CQ6S. S. Yes. Okay. Yep. So I've done some testing with this head shaft combination in the past, um, mainly because it was with a Callaway tip was the only shaft that yeah. I had to try this shaft, okay. right? Came out this year, I really wanted to try it. Yeah. So um, <laughs> in the course of that testing and some speed training following, I actually achieved my fastest ball speed ever or and, okay. and club head speed ever with this with this particular. So setup. how does this shaft compare to the previous, the Kylie White that you were just So I, they're both gonna be lowish launching low low spinning yeah. shafts so uh, weight category is the same i don't know off the top of my head the exact weight weight numbers um actually i could probably tell you but whoever put this little stick covered stiff, it up stiff flex thing on here to cover everything oh. up so we'll just kind of a guesstimate we'll just we'll, we'll just use it like a fortune cookie and we'll see what what, what <laughs> held underneath okay it's actually exactly 60 grams so okay that's potentially a little bit lighter than the other one. And same thing. It says everything the same, but now we can read it. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Starting to get angry about this. Yeah. I like it. I don't like feeling so bogged down that I can't yeah. get I can't get my club head speed yeah. up. Okay. 
Now that came off the toe. We should see low spin there. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's funny that you say that it came off the toe because it's still one four nine on the smash. A couple of these, couple of these new heads. Faces are fast all the way yeah, through. They are. Right? They are. We're talking AI in the head here. It's true. Come on, get that speed up. There we go. We're oh my goodness, one five one smash. Whew. Still real. Right? 150 is perfect. We, yeah. can, we can go all the way up to 152. After that, it's like trying to fold a piece of paper over more than four times. You can't do it. Okay. Okay. Throw out those first, however yeah, we many. Got for, we got the first couple were ah. warm up swings. I got to find my cursor bad. here, wherever that is. All right. Here's yeah. our, our update here. We did gain some distance there. So, what? You know, obviously, you got a little bit warmed up, able to swing it a little bit faster, but you're still, it's funny because your, your first setup was actually higher club speed on average. Lighter weight shaft. Um, so this is, uh, that one was a little bit lighter shaft than yep. this one. Okay. Uh, but interesting, you still, despite swinging this one a little slower, more efficient. Mm -hmm. um, you also launched it a tad higher. Okay. That's probably good for helping you carry purposes. it a little bit yeah. further, rolling yeah. out. I mean, you have f almost five yards on yeah. the first setup there. Yeah. So um, is there anything else we can do? How, how are we on dispersion there? Pretty good. I mean, you, no, you, yeah, that was pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, give, I don't really know. Give me a minute. Okay. Give Kevin a minute. Here we go. We got, we got more ideas. All right. This is going to be fun. Okay. So I see. <laughs> you can't miss it. I can't miss it. An auto flex shaft. Yeah. Is this the same club head though? Looks like it. It is the same club head. It's the same settings. Okay. Uh, I was messing with this shaft before I ended up in the shaft that I am now playing. Okay. This is, look, we're, we're going to extremes here. This is extreme. Yep. This is 50 grams. Okay. This is really, really light. So it also plays stiffer the harder you swing it. So for a guy like me right now, who's got a meatball sub brewing here, right and the club head speed is low yeah when i start swinging faster this will hold up nicely too okay very so, nice uh we're gonna throw this in here and see what see what okay. happens um, okay so the settings of the you know like the everything nozzle the loft all that's yep. same as it has been everything's the same. trying a new shaft here yep. okay. uh oh you can, can be had for the discount price of 599.99 okay considering it's a 790 dollar shaft that's a pretty yeah. good bargain yeah There you go. Speed's getting up there now. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I'm ready to go. All right. Right off the bat, we're a, sh a hair under. I mean, we're hair under 300. I, th I have a feeling we're going to get to 300 here. In the next yeah, I hope, certainly hope so. Yep. Oh, oh, we almost did it. If I had just turned it over. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're getting so close to 300. That was hit. Yep. That Thanks. one was hit. There, there we, we go. go. There's the 300 mark. There we go. All right. One more. I'm going to give this everything I've... Everything the meatballs gives me. <laughs> right off the toe. It might work though. 302. That's not bad. I gotta get I gotta get I gotta get faster than that. Oh, even more toe. <laughs> you still hit it 298. <laughs> That's actually so good. That's so good actually. A pedicurist didn't get any more toe than I just got right there. <laughs> That's a great visual with that ball, <laughs> with, with, the, with the, the shot tracer just so far right. <laughs> That's good. Okay, the harder I swing, the more toe I get. I mean, you're hitting the ball at 298 every single time. Okay. Even with I, the toe. I guess with the meatball, that's all I got. Okay, well, here's what we got. You gained a little bit more club speed there um, using a lighter shaft that is also... Um, you know, an extra stiff. That's kind of the, the wild thing about these auto flex uh, yeah. shafts. Well, here. it's an extra stiff, but 
I mean, let's. It, it's a different kind of extra. It's a very different kind of extra stiff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we had, and you wanted to go after a few more, and you did. You got up to yeah. a 107 a couple times there. Yeah. You actually eclipsed 300 a couple times, but look at besides, you know, if we take out this one actually, yeah, that which was, was you know, part, that was part of the part of the warm up session, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the the shortest drive you hit was 295. Okay. Um, I can deal with on that. this, and you actually hit. I mean, every pretty much every like 298, 299, 298, 303, 295, 302, 298. <laughs> 298 after you would call yourself kind of warmed up, right? Yeah. So. Got the meatball in the right spot. So. Now, now some averages of some kind of good swings with each setup here. So the, the, the stocks, the stock setup yeah. was the Aerojet standard head. Yep. With the, uh, was it the helium? Helium. Helium 5 helium F4. helium 5 F4. Okay. At nine degrees. Yes. Um, went to the Aerojet LS at nine degrees with a white, yeah. uh, Kylie white uh, stiff shaft. Yep. Then went to the tri Paradigm Triple Diamond with yep. the um, Graphite Design QC Success. Um, and then you kind of like the way the Paradigm Triple Diamond, that's a, it's a hot club face. It is, absolutely. Um, so that stuck with that, but went to the Autoflex. And yeah. we saw, I think, the most potential distance out of that one. I mean, we're up seven yards in total. We're yep. up 10 in carry yeah. from where we started with only, that's true. With only 0.4 miles an hour of of right, so, so that's kind that's of a very fair yeah. test overall. It's yeah, because like, your your it's club not like 106 speed. and then 110. Exactly, right? your club head speed is more or less the same from when you started. Yeah, um, yeah. The difference being you optimized the launch a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you brought down ever so slightly, right? The spin rate. You're hitting the yeah. ball more efficiently. Yeah. Um, and then because that ball is getting at the right in the right trajectory window, it's carrying 10 yards further. Um, I also think we should know, you know, you got some extra balls in the dispersion cert pattern yeah. here, but it's not like it's completely inaccurate either. I mean, you were hitting it. No. You're, you're, right. You had a couple. The, I mean, this one right the, here is the best one the best was drive right of up the, the middle, right? I just, when I was trying to get that speed up a little bit, I just kept on peppering the toe. Yeah. Yeah. Just, so yeah. I, we should clarify too, this is probably, again, this is not probably what a driver fitting would actually look like in tour van. It would be more of factoring in dispersion, factoring oh, in yeah. consistency, things Absolutely. like that. But, but if you're just looking to hit it as far as possible, you know, managing launch conditions, managing spin, managing, you know, the, the ball speed coming off the face, those are the three dynamics that we can really work with mm -hmm. um, other than, you know, yeah. you physically and, and your club head speed. Right. So, yeah. And I think it's, it's cool because we started this already with what you thought was probably in this store, the setup most closely aligned with what you already play. Correct. You know, Correct. The, the shaft being slightly different, but very similar profiles, yeah. and then the same club head that you use. Yeah. So we took what you already, pretty much already play, and added 10 yards of carry, mm -hmm. just with, you know, different shaft, different yeah. club head, um, optimizing things a little bit. So I think that goes to show there's probably some more distance to be had from what you're playing right now. And yeah, there probably especially is. if you haven't been fit, there's tons of yardage out there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, if you want more distance, and especially if you're one of those people that might be only wanting more distance, second swing fitting can can help you out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't necessarily require you to go to a six hundred dollars shaft. No, um, no. You know, it might could could happen for you. You were able to gain a little bit more distance. I you, personally you gained distance without it, and then yeah. you gained a little bit more with it. I personally well. love the way this feels. Like, yeah. I, I, once I. I needed some swings to get reattributed yeah. to the the way the, the auto flex works, but I love the way this thing feels. So it, it got really comfortable. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's definitely it's definitely one of those things where we want to get we want to get you as much distance as we can. We also want it to be as accurate as possible. Right. So. Right. There's that, all those things matter. We always yeah. try to we we will adhere to what you want in your fitting. Out of, yeah. I mean, if you want a more accurate driver, we will certainly be able to do that too. So. Kevin, that's kind of put you through the ringer there. That was yeah. a lot of driver swings, but it's okay. uh, some pretty good results from this I, little test here. I made so. it tough starting out. You like, did. The numbers, you did. The, numbers the, 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 really bar, the bar if, was very high. If I'd started at 2,800 RPM of spin, this would have been much, yeah. much easier. Yeah, but, yeah. You know. but I, think, uh, I think it was a good test. I think some yeah. good results, and hopefully some viewers out there will uh, take that step to go get fit, schedule the fitting, and um, from there they'll see the benefits on the golf course. So Indeed. Thank you again, Kevin, for your swinging and your insight here. Anytime.